Hello everyone! Welcome to It's Crochet O'Clock. My name is Stephanie and we are going to do our Monday Night Live. We do this every Monday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are watching the replay, please do try and join us in the live chat. Speaking of live chat, if you are here and you cannot participate in live chat, it's most likely because you haven't logged into your YouTube account. You do have to be logged in in order to participate in live chat. If you are watching the replay, you can have top chat selected, then you will only see part of the comments and I may comment on something and you will end up lost because you didn't, you have no idea what it is that I'm talking about and we don't want that to happen. I have a couple of disclaimers before we start. The first one is Freaky Geek and Anthony are both completely harmless. If you are new here, do not be bothered by them. They mean no harm. Honestly, they mean no harm. The second one is, is I have a tough topic to talk about tonight and I am using the Monday Night Live to do so because I have to leave for Vogue Knitting Live and I do not have time to film a standalone video. It does deserve its own standalone video, but I don't have time to film it because I have to leave and I haven't even pulled my suitcase out of the closet yet and that's not good. But the disclaimer is, if this offends you, ask yourself why because I'm probably going to say some things that are going to make folks unhappy and um, you really should think about asking yourself why. Let's see who is in live chat before we get started. Let me pop up that window. There we are. Hello everybody. Yes, oh Christine is listening to the ads and she already hit the thumbs up. Thank you so much for listening to the ads. You're super Love you to pieces. Mm. Hello everybody. There's Pern and Marla and Freaky's here, of course. And oh look, there's Anthony. Both of them are here. We're going to have such a great time. So, um, as the video title says, you know, we're live, craft and chat normal, um, talking about Vogue knitting. That's going to be just a little bit later. But first I want to touch on the situation that happened this morning with Guy with a Hook. Guy with a Hook um, is a crocheter and knitter from the Netherlands. If you guys have never heard of him before, um, he's a fabulous designer. He really is. He just got picked up by Shapies. Yes, I know I said that wrong. No reason to come at me. I know that I've said that wrong. I'm American. My tongue just doesn't roll like that. Hello, Aunt Jean, and I love you too. Um, so... He put out an announcement this morning. He was getting ready to launch a crochet along and him and his team had worked for weeks, months on this crochet along. It was supposed to be 10 or 11 weeks. Promise you that um, it takes a lot of work to get these things going. There's a lot of people behind the scenes and most of us have teams, so it's not just one person that's doing all of the work. I know I have a fabulous team behind the scenes with It's Crochet O'Clock that helps me out. And he was no different. He had all kinds of people that put all sorts of man hours into this. And he decided to cancel the crochet along. And the reason that he canceled the crochet along is because he got bombarded with... A whole lot of nasty you guys just a whole lot of nasty and it's probably not a good thing for me to um, know about it in August two years ago a year and a half ago um, August of 2018 I released a video it was just a normal review video um, didn't think anything of it certainly didn't expect for it to skyrocket and for everybody to be upset about what I had said in my review about the yarn but there was a youtuber who took offense to something that I had said apparently she had uploaded her own review before mine I had no idea who in Sam Hill she was until all of a sudden the gates just opened up and all sorts of badness started happening. But she's a very, very prominent um, YouTuber. And she had taken to her Facebook group and started to trash me because she thought that I posted my review in response to her review. Instead of coming to me and talking to me or, or even asking, she just assumed that I had called her out. 
and and had been passive about it. And clearly she didn't know who I was because I'm not a passive person. If I got something to say to you, I'm going to say it to you. But it was really bad because this woman at that time had over 200,000 subscribers. I don't know what she's up to now. I don't pay attention to her. And a whole lot of them came after me. They came after me in all of my YouTube comments, across all sorts of videos for weeks. It was super hard to keep up with it. Wishing my children ill, just saying absolutely horrible things to me. And during that time, it was my patrons who kept me going. I would sit up for hours at night, two, three o'clock in the morning, just bawling my eyeballs out, talking to my patrons. And, and I almost quit. I almost left. We wouldn't have had Yaya's hugs. Um, our community wouldn't have grown the way that it has right now. We, um, we wouldn't have good loops. You know, none of that stuff would have happened because I almost quit. But my patrons reminded me that, you know, of the reason that I started It's Crochet O'Clock and all of the people that, that I have helped along the way. So Mark, who is the guy behind Guy With A Hook, I know it's hard. The first time it happens to you, it is absolutely horrible. And even I have a fabulous constitution. I was raised by Marines in a Marine Corps family. I am really, really tough and it almost broke me. So I understand where you're at, but don't let it, um, don't let it push you away because you create some beautiful, beautiful art and that's what it is, it's art. So keep going because you have a good thing going. And for all of the people that forget that your mama taught you when you were little, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all, that reaches through the internet as well. I don't understand this gang up mentality. It happened a lot during the Ravelry situation. It happened a whole lot. There were people from both sides of the spectrum just attacking everybody. Everybody was going publicly, going after businesses who stood by Ravelry, who didn't stand by Ravelry, and it was absolutely horrible. And it happens all the time. It happens, you know, all over the place. People in general on the internet, they get on the internet and because they don't have to look the person in the eye, they don't have to deal with seeing the hurt that they cause with their words, they just say whatever it is that they want to say because they can hide behind the cloak of the internet. Most of them would never dream of saying half of the things that they say to people on the internet to their faces in person. And if they did, the vast majority of them, I do not think that they would have any teeth left in their head because somebody would have just lost their cool and popped them out for them. So, <laughs> every now and then one of my controversial videos, like my content theft videos, because people do not like being told, they don't like being told, stuff like that, um, they recirculate. Every couple of months, somebody will share something and then people who haven't seen it will start sharing it all over again and the process starts all over again with all of the nasty comments. So I've had time to get used to it, but that first time was absolutely horrible. So what I would like for you guys to do is, if, if you've never heard of Mark from Guy With A Hook, go to his website, visit his website, the crochet along that he had planned to start. He's offering it as a free pattern on his website, the English version. You can go to his website, you can start working on it, even if you decide not to work on it, if you don't have time. He has a little button that says, buy me coffee. And you can donate, you know, like a dollar to him or, or something like that. Even if you don't, just visiting his website, his website is monetized, he has ads on it, the traffic will help him. He has some beautiful patterns, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful patterns on his website. He's very, very, very talented. And um, he did not deserve what happened to him today. Um, I'm not quite certain where all of this hate and discontent came from, which side it came from. I don't think that he listed his, his reasoning was very, very lengthy. And you can tell that he's upset because he was bouncing from place to place. And um, so it's not very clear exactly what they were fussing at him for. I just know that 
his social media blew up, his email blew up, all of his contacts blew up, and, and it was really bad for him. Some people have suggested that it's because he decided to stay with Ravelry, and some people have suggested that it was the name of the crochet along. Say, some people were saying that the people that were against Ravelry were going after him because he had decided to stay with Ravelry. Some people were saying that... Um, that the people that stuck with Ravelry actually turned on him because of the name of his crochet along and it wasn't um, culturally appropriate. I can't say anything nowadays without offending somebody. Anywho, you guys be nice. Just be nice. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Seriously, if you go to a YouTuber's review and you had a completely different opinion of them, that's fine. Do you know how boring the world would be if we all liked the same things and we all disliked the same things? It would be like clones just walking around. Dee -dee 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 -dee. That would be no fun. No fun at all. There's no reason to go, well, I found it quite soft and I've never had any issues with splitting. Nah, 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 nah. There's no reason to do that. Really, no reason to do that. If you don't agree with it, that's fine. Move on. Go find another YouTuber whose thoughts and views mostly align with yours. I tell people all of the time, don't just take what I say. Go out there, watch other YouTubers, watch other bloggers, or read other bloggers. Find people that like the same things as you do. Then the likelihood when they review something the likelihood of you liking it is going to be far greater. But don't go trolling around in people's Facebook groups. Don't go sending them nasty messages from their contact form on their website. I mean, that's seriously going out of your way just to put somebody down. It's just, it's not okay. And if you people keep doing that, then so many talented people who are just starting out right now who haven't even been discovered yet, they're gonna end up quitting because nobody wants to deal with that in their life. We all do this for the enjoyment of the crap. And by you guys, I mean the folks that actually do that. Think before you put your fingers to a keyboard. <sighs> yeah, so I read a, a, that's my thing, you guys go visit Mark. Honest to goodness, you guys go visit Mark. He's fabulous. And I say this, you all know that I am not a fan of Shapies. He is a Shapies blogger. He's one of Shapies' newest bloggers. And um, I'm still telling you, go visit the guy with the hook because he's awesome. So on to what Kim is saying so you guys can get in on, on what's going on. I posted something on my personal Facebook today because it, it made me laugh out loud. Thank goodness I was in my kitchen and it's very sad because I just mopped my kitchen floor last night and I spat coffee all over the place. So this woman posted on Twitter, if anyone has a right to be mad at Harry and Meghan, if you guys don't know Harry and Meghan, they're leaving, the senior royals, all of that. <sighs> if anyone has a right to be mad at Harry and Meghan, it's the people of Sussex who have been left leaderless without their duke and who are now defenseless against incursions from Hampshire and Kent. And then she responded to her own tweet and she said, Whomst shall hear the petitions of the town folk? Whomst shall oversee the collection of the tithes and enforcement of contracts? I say you, whomst. <laughs> I about died. So Kim is on a mission to see how many times we can say humpst because it is now a personal goal of mine to figure out how many times or, or ways to get humpst into everyday conversation. I have to because I love that word now. <sighs> people won't even start because they are scared of getting shot down. Yes, that is true. For any new people who came in while I was going on my 10, 15 minute rant, hi. <laughs> Welcome to It's Crochet O'Clock. <sighs> scoot this over just a little bit so I can see what's going on. Oh, you guys, so I was like, what am I going to work on? I don't want to work on that scarf, by the way, the Jacob's Ladder scarf. I don't like it anymore. 
I liked the idea, but I don't like it anymore. So um, I was walking around the studio going, what am I going to work on? I got to have something to work on. But my brain is so crazy because of everything that I need to get done for Vogue Knitting Live that that I, I just can't think properly. And then I saw this little bag sitting over there and I went, what are you? And I picked it up. Guys, I completely forgot about these. You remember? I am feeling much better, Sally. Thank you for asking. Hoomst is a real word. Ida has just gone and apparently hoomst is a real word. I am trying to find Mark's channel. What is the channel name? He is not a YouTuber, um, Sheely. Sheely, I can't talk now. Sheila, he's not a YouTuber. He's just a crochet and knitting designer. Um, somebody posted his website in chat a minute ago, but you can Google guy with a hook and you will find him. He's not a YouTuber. Of course, yarn is the one thing I can talk about with crochet people. Of course, we always talk about yarn. What? Kim? That was a secret. Kim, that's a secret. That's a patron-only secret. You shush. Um... There you go. The, um... He was on, he does have a Facebook page, but he has closed his Facebook group. Lindsay said, my grandfather always used to say Darenst. <laughs> That's funny. Consider me gagged. Yeah, yeah. Way to try and give away the, soup, the, the, the secret squirrel things. I may talk about it a little bit more after Vogue Knitting Live, but Jennifer was on Jennifer was on holiday. She was at the sea and she just got back to Pretoria last night, I think. And today she got on the plane to head to New York City. And I didn't want to bother her while she was, you know, on holiday with her family. So Jennifer hasn't even seen it. Wait, what is that that you're working on? So you remember I started Yaya's Hugs in cotton. And when I got the basic premise together and it went into testing, Jennifer was going to be working up the other two colorways. Well, she was working up one colorway and one of the worker bees in Pretoria was going to be working up the other colorway. Well, she started and then she came to me and she said, Steph, I don't think this is a cotton blanket. I think that this is a fusion blanket. And I said, what? I've already gotten so far with this. I've already made all of these squares. I've already pulled the yarn out of inventory. And she said, I, I don't care. It, it, it's a fusion blanket. So I stopped working on it and went and pulled everything out of, of inventory to start redoing it in fusion. And that is the kits that, that went live. But I still had all of this. So granny squares are silly simple. So I just decided to keep going with them because I already had the yarn and why not? So they're going to end up just one big old, big old hodgepodge of, of, of granny squares put together. That's what's going to happen. Is hoops a conjunction? If so, of what words? I, I, I have no idea. I saw that Ida posted a, um, a link to the wiki. But I, I, I don't know. Hoomst. I love that word. It's my new word. Gonna have to figure it out. There was another word that I saw just the other day in my Facebook memories. And I had planned to use that word as often as possible. And I don't think that I ever did. And now I cannot remember. Is that enough? Is that where I stop? Yes, that's where I stop. By the way, have I ever showed you guys this from my Kiwi Bestie? Maxine sent that to me. It's a pencil holder, but I use it to hold everything. See what's in what's in the bag? I got, oh, well, that's an end. This is my little tape measure from Knit Crate that I love. That gets hidden in there. There's my darning needles pins. Apparently there's 
three of them because one is not enough. There is a Sharpie. Why? I have no idea. My scissors, which is why I opened it to begin with. And then, let's see, which hooks do I have in here? Three millimeter, 3.5, 4.5, 4 millimeter, and 3.25. Where's my 3.75? Because that's what I'm using to work on the other one. Maybe it's on the table in the living room. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, and then all of those ends, the reason that those are there is because I'm not technically supposed to crochet at work. So I take all of the evidence back home with me so I can't get caught because I'm smart, guys. Yeah. One of these days I'm going to get caught, though. I just know that it's going to happen. Yes, infant. <laughs> no stitch markers. The stitch markers are actually in, um, they are in the, my big bag because they're in a case that's like this big. So they won't fit in there, but I do keep them. Um... I will have to post a pic of the planned pooling turning into a poncho. Ooh, wow. I bet you that's going to be awesome. Uh oh, freaky. Hoops to me sounds like somebody getting sucker punched and, and the wind knocked out of them. I agree, doesn't it? Oh, don't let me forget to send you that extra poopy gold hook I found. Listen, if we're going to depend on me to remember anything, that 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 hook is never going to get to me. Hey, Steph. It's never going to get to me because I keep thinking of things. See, I thought of something right after I sat down that I needed to remember to pack to go with me. Oh, fingernail clippers for the plane so I can crochet on the super secret squirrel thing while I am flying. I need to put those in my bag. I always fly with nail clippers. I don't take my um, my scissors with me. A lot of folks say that, that they have gotten through um, TSA without having any issues, but I just don't want to take a chance. I freak out every time I go to go get on a plane and if, if I have one of my clover hooks with me because I don't want them to take it away from me. And you never know. You really never know. Well, anything I said I was going to do in 2019 didn't happen, so I have to make up for it this year. <laughs> oh, by the way, you guys, live will probably only be one hour tonight because I really do have a lot of stuff. I need to start um, packing because it never fails. I, I have a list. I do have a list. And I'm checking things off of the list. But that doesn't mean that I haven't forgotten to put something on the list. And I don't want to get all the way to New York City, or worse, be stuck in a layover. Not that I have much of a layover. And um, realize that I don't have what I needed. Because that will not be fun. Everyone say, go pack, go. I'll bet you Anthony is just beside himself because the Packers won last night, but we're not going to talk about that. We're just not. My kids will be pleased they don't have to wait for lunch. Oh, school kids with holidays. Poor thing. Kim didn't know if she was going to be able to stay for the whole chat because her babies are home. Hey, I'm packing too, but I'm packing to move. Oof, I do not envy you. I hate moving. Whom shall you be gifting the project who you are working on, or is it a project for yourself? I never make things for myself. Never, ever, ever do I make things for myself, and I don't know who it's going to be for. There's, there, there's no telling. It'll end up going to somebody eventually. Anything you forget can be bought, not worth stressing over. That's not true. That's not true. What happens if I forget my, my crochet project proper? That would be bad. <sighs> my pet monster keeps asking when Delbert will be on next. We'll have to see. 
we'll have to see what what we can do by the way you guys please don't forget next Monday there will be no live chat I will be home but I would have just gotten home and I'm gonna be sleeping because <laughs> I will have trade show brain so I'm gonna be sleeping oh please you aren't going to forget that hey you never know you never know I have a lot of stuff to do I fed them brunch so I didn't need to do lunches early ah gamer widows is sending me some special backs for the pins I have so I don't have to have panic attacks again oh that's good that's very good I know you'd be upset if you'd lose that pin where is your other pin where is it oh here it is here it is I'm saving it for you for the next shipment that goes out you can do a patron a patreon chat and we can watch you sleep you guys are such little voyeurs you know that my patrons are voyeurs they love just just watching me do crazy mundane things oh yay Amanda um, have you seen that there will be four new Tim Tam flavors <gasps> What flavors? Do tell. Nobody said anything to me about this. Uh oh. Kim said that she didn't think much of them. Bummer. We need to get together for that stuff. I have a few things to ship in that direction. I know. We need to send Maddie some more vanilla wafers. He needs them. I'm not telling my monsters because I will pretend that there was a. <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry I'm just going to be too tired I, I already know that that I'm gonna be too tired so I just want to you know it, it it's not gonna happen I'm gonna be sleeping really come on come on all right fine don't mercy and magnets and a few other things yes magnets apparently Kim or Kelly has lost all of the things that she needed to send to Australia it's what happens when you get sick and you're ill for months oh. Oh, I was gonna take a sip of my tea after I finished that round and I completely forgot oh, Vogue Knitting Live you guys Friday Saturday and Sunday I have the schedule for any of you guys um, I just have to find it where did it go I have it it's rolling up all right the times we are setting up on Thursday so if any of you guys are going to be in New York City Thursday evening well Thursday from 1 to 10 p.m. apparently is the time that we have to set up so we won't be available then um, the marketplace opens at 4 30 p.m. until 8 p.m. on Friday and then Saturday it is open from 9 30 a.m. until 6 30 p.m. And then on Sunday, it's open from 9.30 a.m. until 4 p.m. The first 30 minutes of each day are reserved for early marketplace access attendees. So apparently on the, um, the tickets to get into Vogue Knitting Live, you could pay extra and get um, early access to things with Vogue Knitting Live. that's what's going on I will try and go live while I am there hopefully I will be able to do so multiple times I don't know um, you might want to make sure that you're checking or that you're subscribed to Bonnie Bay Crochet because Bonnie Barker is actually going to be working with us she's hopping on the train and she is coming up so um, Jennifer and I and her mom will be able to take breaks 
so she will be there. I'm sure she's going to go live from the event and you'll probably see me and Jennifer while we are there. The new flavors are inspired by Ozzy and Kiwi Taste. Oh, never mind. You can keep them in. Did they make a Vegemite one? Ugh. Um. Wait, salted caramel? They made salted caramel? We can have a party in your room for your patrons. Didn't we do that for Manchester? Did I turn... Or did we do a Facebook Live on the Good Loops website or the Good Loops Facebook page? I don't know. Anywho, make sure you're subscribed here. Make sure you're part of the It's Crochet O'Clock Facebook group. Make sure you're following the Good Loops Facebook page. Then Good Loops has um, the Good Loops Cafe where that's like its Facebook group and then Bonnie Bay Crochet because there's no telling who's going to go live at what time when there's there's just no telling so you don't want to miss it because it's the 10th anniversary of Vogue Knitting Live it's massive um, Murray River Salted Caramel Sunshine Coast Strawberries and Cream Gisborne Orange and Dark oh come back Gisborne Orange and Dark Chocolate and Manuka Honey and Cream. Strawberry and Cream's one. With a chocolate cookie? I don't know. Kayla asks, is anyone else a monogamous crafter? Do you ever have a hard time picking your project? Before Good Loops became a thing, Yes, I was a monogamous crafter. Um, I would only work on one project at a time. I could not start something new if I started making things. Um, well, let me let me rephrase that. Since Good Loop started and I was able to work with Nurturing Fibers in front of you guys, that has changed a whole lot for me. Um, it started with Yaya's Hugs. You guys knew about Yaya's Hugs for forever. So I could work on that one while I was here on my YouTube channel. But then, like right now, I have a secret squirrel project going on. I cannot show that yet. Um, the patrons have seen a, they've had their own little sneak peek of it, which reminds me, I need to take a picture and show you guys tonight where it's at. But I can't work on that live but I need to keep working on it. But I also need to have something going that I can work on while I'm live. So there goes two projects. And then, you know, blankets end up getting to a point where they're too big for me to put into the, um, the bag that I take to work with me. So then I just end up grabbing yarn and taking it with me and I start doodling at work. And then that doodle turns into something that I might actually like that, that, that may be a thing. So then that becomes a new project. It, it is a vicious cycle, you guys. It's a very vicious cycle. Cindy said, your hair looks different. And hello, hello, my hair is having a freak out moment right now. I don't know what's going on with my hair currently. I've been trying to figure it out for weeks of what happened. I don't know exactly what happened. Um, it started right after I moved and I don't know if it's a difference in the water. It shouldn't be because while I only moved to a town that's 30 miles away, the water supply comes from the same place. But it might be a change in the water. It might be that the first two weeks I was here, I was washing my hair literally every single day because I was busy unpacking and moving things around and I just got disgusted with with my hair and, and everything. So I was taking like two showers a day washing my hair and people with curly hair, um, we really shouldn't wash our hair every day or even every two or three days because the oils don't travel down our hair as quickly as it does with people with straight hair. So whenever we wash our hair too frequently, we strip our hair of that oil and 
coincidentally, we also strip our hair of moisture. So then it becomes brittle and it starts to break. And I did have that, um, I do have a little bit of that going on. I keep trying to do moisture treatments to fix it. And it's just, it, it's, it's not crazy. It, it, or it's, it, it's crazy. I have no idea what's going on. And then I straightened my hair. Y'all remember when I straightened my hair? It's the first time in over two years that I straightened my hair and my hair did not like it. So it's trying to recover. You have to forgive it. Your hair is belatedly punishing you for the time you straightened it. It, it was doing it before that. Um, are you ever going to go back to Yaya's garden? You know, I picked it up and I was going to work on that tonight. I picked it up, it's sitting right over there, and then I remembered that for some reason, even though all of the counts are okay, that it's off and it's not sitting right. And then I got disgusted with it again and set it back down. Hello, Becky from Georgia. I want you to know that I dislike you, Becky from Georgia, for your access to um, Vidalia onions. <sighs> I miss Vidalia onions, you guys. Anthony says he washes his hair every day. <laughs> <sighs> it still looks good. Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate that. Y'all, if I go live from New York City, don't expect fabulous things from my hair because we have no humidity here. No humidity here. And um, I'm going to go from the desert to New York City where there's all kinds of, of humidity. And I promise you, as soon as I get off the plane, my hair is going to just poof <laughs> and it's not going to be okay. Didn't you find them at Walmart? You need a beanie for, you know, my face is too round for beanies. I can't wear beanies. I get so disgusted with all of these people that, that are always making beanies and they look so cute in their beanies. I, I can't wear. I cannot wear beanies. I wish I could. It just doesn't look right on me. Hey, Lily. Can't you get them from the store where you're at? No, I cannot. They do not have Vidalia onions here, believe it or not. And when I first moved here, um, I don't have access to green tomatoes either. In the four years that I have lived here, I have had green tomatoes three, three times. One of them was when I went back home for a visit. Another time was when um, my Aunt Jean Ann sent me a care package and she sent me green tomatoes from my cousin's yard. So I was able to make fried green tomatoes for myself. And then another time was, I think I, I went to go visit my Aunt Jean Ann and Amy in Jacksonville. And, and I was standing right next to my Aunt Jean Anna. She was pulling them out of the fryer and putting them right into my mouth. But no, there's, um, there's no Vidalia onions here. Can't get them. I know, crazy that Vidalia onions just aren't a thing everywhere. Kayla said, I live in a very dry area and have long curly hair, so I don't wash my hair, but every 10 days. I don't go that long. Mine is, um, I, I wash my hair once a week is when my hair actually gets washed. Because if I do it any, any more than that, it's just not good. Becky said I look like an old woman in a beanie. I'm only 69. Oh, Becky. <laughs> what are those onions? Vidalia onions are really, really, really sweet onions. And they're grown in Vidalia, Georgia, which is why they're called Vidalia onions. But I love them so much that I eat them like apples. Honest to goodness, I do. The Spanish sweet onions aren't bad. <sighs> I mean, we get sweet onions here, but there's really, if, if you've ever had a Vidalia onion, there is, there is no comparison. There honestly isn't. Where are you? I am in New Mexico. There's no comparing to a Vidalia onion. They just taste different, a completely different taste. Vidalias are only grown in special fields and are harvested July through August, which is why you can't get them year round. Listen, where I come from, you can get Vidalias year round. They're in the grocery stores year round. 
but they don't have... Is anybody else's chat disconnecting tonight for some reason? Because I keep getting notices that says chat disconnected. And then it will reconnect, which is weird. Come on, YouTube. What are you doing to me? Did I go too many? No. Okay. Kelly, your store gets them in Idaho? Maybe it's your internet. It shouldn't be my internet with the money that I pay for it. It better not be my internet. Just checking to make sure. Yep, it keeps freezing. Okay. All right, so at least it's not just me. Oh, and there comes my Aunt Jean Ann. My Aunt Jean Ann, who loves me so much, who I love her. I, you know, I, I love her more than life itself. Has to pop in and say, I have a bag of Vidalias in my fridge. <laughs> we have green tomatoes in the commissary. Oh, mercy. Uh. Stop it. It's not just me, Kim. And my internet is fine. My internet's just fine. Oh, I don't know what's going on with it. It's going to be okay. It will be okay. Because I refuse to get stressed out. I have way too much stuff going on and I have way too much stuff to do. I refuse to get stressed out. Dee said, I wish I could get my kids interested in crochet. Careful what you wish for, okay? Because we have an expensive hobby, okay? If you get your kids mixed up in that mess, you're going to have to share your yarn budget. Is that something that you really want to do? I mean, like, look, I know that we should be promoting our craft, bringing in the newer generation, yada, yada, yada. But I'm a selfish person, okay? Is that something that you really want to do? Diana, Steph, are you making another Yaya's Hugs? No, this is the yarn from when I first started making Yaya's Hugs in Nurturing Fibers. I was doing it in cotton at first, and then Jen started working up the pattern, and she came to me and she said, Steph, I, I don't think this is a cotton pattern. I think this is a fusion pattern. So that's when we switched over to fusion, because it was originally supposed to be in cotton. So this is my leftovers from it, and I decided to just keep going with it and um, make granny squares to connect together. And I had completely forgotten about it, and I just found it. Um, my daughter shares her yarn with me. Aw, sweet daughter. Kayla said, Steph, I just realized that once we moved, we'll be neighbors. I'm moving to Arizona. Sort of neighbors. I'm on the eastern side of the state. So sort of neighbors. Maybe I'll get to see you in next year's Crochet Guild of America conference. Because I think it's going to end up being in Arizona. Everybody that I know who voted um, on what, what state they wanted chose Arizona. Because don't nobody want to go to California. <laughs> and I don't think anybody really wanted to go to Nevada. Um, they can go to work and buy their own. Yeah, yeah. You know how you go to work and all day long you're at work and every parent here can commiserate with this. All day long you think about something like a jar of pickles. And for some reason you're craving those pickles. And you cannot wait to get home just to eat one of those pickles. Then you get home, drop your purse, head straight for the refrigerator because you need pickles in your life. Open the door and your monsters have eaten them all after school before you got home from work. Or, you know, wherever it was. 
that you were at. Can you imagine that happening with your yarn? I mean, honestly, your kid starts crocheting. Great. We are happy about it. Then you go to work. Kid, for some reason, stayed homesick or it's summer break or spring break, something like that. You have this beautiful baby alpaca yarn that you've been saving for that special project that you know will come along. It's been in your stash for five years. You come home and your kid is so happy to show you the double crochet scarf that they made from your baby alpaca yarn. Yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Goodbye, Melissa. Thanks for hanging out with us. Kim said my husband ate my Mexican layered dip while I was otherwise occupied. See, that's what I'm saying. Husbands do it too. Husbands do it too. He figured there weren't enough corn chips left to bother sharing it. Oh, man. Poor Kim. I do have a monster who steals my yarn. I've threatened her life, see? There you go. I brought you into this world. I can take you out of it. <sighs> I do need pickles. I love pickles. Pickles make me happy on the inside. Older, uh oh. My kids are artists in their own rights. Both girls draw. Though the younger one, wait, did I do three? Okay. Well, she's just producing all kinds of artists over there. Aunt Jean Ann said, we get them in the commissary singles and bags. I've been to Vidalia and purchased my own. They're 10 pound to 50 pound bags. Oof, the 10 pound bags of Vidalia onions. Oh, it's happiness. It's so much happiness. Well, there's Lauren. Hello, Lauren. <gasps> and there's Miss Marley Bird. Hello, Miss Marley Bird. Going to be missing you at Vogue Knitting Live. <laughs> oh, can you imagine all of the shenanigans that we could get into with Marley Bird at Vogue Knitting Live? Plus me, plus Bonnie, and then Jen, the little adventure hobbit. <gasps> Thank you for popping in, Marley. I know you're busy. I appreciate it greatly. I wish you were going to. It's the 10th anniversary. You're going to miss big stuff. Yes, it's going to be awesome. We're going to have lots of fun. We're going to eat lots of great food, you guys. Lots of great food. All of you should be jealous. Now we can watch Steph fangirl a little. Ugh, I always fangirl Marley. She knows I always fangirl her. Have fun with Mr. Bird. We'll talk to you soon. Love you. <laughs> so, you guys, for those of you who don't watch the Good Loops live, we have this thing where I, I poke fun at Jen all the time because Jen has zero boundaries, okay? We are out in public and Jen has zero boundaries. If you are wearing something that she finds beautiful, she's going to take it right off of your person and then make somebody else take a picture of her wearing it. I, the first time it happened, I was mortified. So I was like, oh my God, Jim, what are you doing? You can't do that to people. But she just kept doing it. She does it all the time. She owns a brick and mortar yarn store in Pretoria, along with Good Loops. People come into her yarn store, which is called the Yarn Room, and they're wearing something. She doesn't care if it's a sweater. They're wearing a sweater. She will end up posting pictures of, look, Somebody came in today and look at what they were wearing. Like she pulls full on clothing items off of people. She did that to Marley Bird. Marley Bird, we were working um, the Good Loops booth at 
the Crochet Guild of America conference in Manchester in July. And here comes Marley and I'm just sitting there and I'm talking to Marley. Me and Amy are talking to Marley, having a good chat. Jennifer comes back from like visiting the restroom or something like that. And she's like, <gasps> that scarf is so beautiful. And she just starts pulling on it. And it was like a cartoon because Marley was just turning around in a circle and Jen was just pulling it off of her. And there's a picture somewhere. I can't remember if it got posted in the Good Loops group or the Facebook page or the It's Crochet O'Clock group or, or wherever it got posted, but she's just there with it. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> oh. It was hilarious, but and now it's just a thing. If you wear something pretty, Jen's going to take it off of your person. It's going to happen. Jennifer and I to um, go live together because she's in Pretoria and I'm over here on Mountain Time. So that's literally the only time that that we can do it. Alicia said, Jen sounds like my older cousin slash aunt. She does the same thing. It's a mess. She is a mess, you guys. Welcome back, Freaky Geek. It might be my internet tonight, you guys. It might be. Kim might be right. This might be all my fault. Looks like it's, looks like it's calmed down. Steph, YouTube is being a pain. I don't think it's YouTube being a pain because I'm sitting here, I'm watching. Um, I'm watching all of the technical stuff over here on this side and I redlined a couple times there. So it might be me. It's on the Good Loops page, just seen it. It's it, it's hilarious, you guys. I couldn't believe she had did that to her. <laughs> Good luck, Kayla. Have fun with the move. Well, hello, Toe Beans. You're late, and um, tonight I am actually not staying. And hello, Sherry from Minnesota. I'm actually not staying for the full two hours tonight because I, I do have to get ready. I, I really have to get ready. I have to work tomorrow. I have to work a full shift tomorrow. And I have my good loops work that, that I have to do tomorrow as well before I leave. So tonight is packing night. I really, really, really have to pack. So let's see. Um, I was just thinking there was something else. Oh, the fingernail clippers. I have to remember to take my fingernail clippers with me. And there was something else that I did not want to forget to take with me. Oh, I can't remember. Becky, that's exactly where I am. That is where I am living. Um, one of the designers at the craft show I went to late last year was amazed that I had a different crochet thing on each day. I remember you talking about that. Jennifer had beautiful shawls made for us, and I, I cannot remember which pattern it was, but we all have the same shawl just done in different colorways. She has one for me, one for herself, one for Mama Sita, and then one for um, Bonnie. Anthony said, Freaky, she still didn't call us out. I may have missed whatever it was, the shenanigans that you guys are getting yourself into. I have no idea. I don't want to know. It's not just you. A lot of people are having issues. Okay. All right. So at least it's not just me. Hello from Long Island, New York. Hello, Josie. Are you going to be going to Vogue Knitting Live? If so, come by the Good Loops booth because I will be there. <laughs> um... So sorry to hear that, Toe Beans. It is snowing and sleeping here. Ugh. Listen, I am praying that the weather holds out for me while I am in New York City, okay? Uh, the disclaimer, not warning people. I warned people at the very beginning I gave the disclaimer. Yes, I did. 
Aw, oh, Josie, I'm so sorry. We will be there, though. It's three full days. Um, but if it's you, it will be affecting what we are seeing. That's true. That's what I'm saying. But it's looking fine right now. Conditioner and lotion in the gallon drugs. Are you referring to the mochaccino shawl? No, not the mochaccino shawl. She had a different shawl worked up for us. I forget what it is. I'll show it to you guys whenever I get there because she's bringing it from South Africa. And Dee said that other YouTubers are having the same issues. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's YouTube. Maybe. Did I go too big? No. Why can't I stay on task? Because my brain is elsewhere. There is snow here in the Seattle area. You can keep it there, okay? Keep it there. I don't want any snow in New York City while I am there. I would like to get into the city in the middle of January, do my thing, and get back out unscathed. Oh, the guys are upset because they missed their disclaimer. Sorry, guys. I did do a disclaimer. I didn't forget about you guys. <laughs> Was a tornado warnings, extreme thunderstorms while driving to Arlington, Texas on Friday night. Saturday it snowed there for about 10 minutes. We had snow the other day. I forget what day it was. We had snow and it snowed big old fat snowflakes for hours. For like five hours it snowed and none of it stuck. Not a bit of it stuck. I was very happy. It was 51 today in upstate New York. Oof. You should be upset that they weren't here at the beginning to hear the disclaimer. I gave the disclaimer. Freaky was here. He just wasn't paying attention. Freaky was here before it even started. He just wasn't paying attention to me like a typical man. Friday night? Are you saying that Friday night... What did you think of the pictures of Addie on the beach this past weekend, you guys? My cousin, my cousin has the cutest grandchildren, okay? And her oldest grandchild was at the beach yesterday. And my cousin was posting pictures and posting videos of little Miss Adelaide running around in the water on the beach. And I was so jealous. I was so jealous of that child. I had to ask for forgiveness for how jealous I was of that child. It was not okay. Thank you, Josie. Not that you're bitter. No, I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter at all. Why would you think that? <sighs> I don't... Uh, uh, that's my biggest fear. I'm, I'm not a big New York City person to begin with. Because it's very people-y, as Ida says. But add that with the snow. Oof. Just joined. I'm paying attention. Well, half attention. I'm crocheting a corner-to-corner -corner scarf for my daughter. Oh, there's another guy hanging out. Welcome, John. <laughs> Who says that he's paying attention. So at least there's one man out there in the world that pays attention to me. Because we know it's not Freaky and Anthony because th they missed their own disclaimers. When it snowed. Hello, Crystal. So it just snowed on Friday? Oh, it'll be clear by the time I get there. Pays half attention. Whatever. No, you don't. Hello, Leslie. Oh, everybody. Did YouTube just send out like another secondary notice? Hello, Sonia. I think YouTube just, I had planned on only staying for an hour tonight. Maybe I could stay for another half hour. Maybe. 
if the moderators, if you guys have to go, that's fine. If I end up with zero moderators, then I'll just, I'll appoint somebody. Humpst is paying attention. Nobody is paying attention. That's the problem. Grandbabies are running amok. I must go wrangle them and get them ready for bed. Goodbye, Diana. Next time you see me, it will be from New York City or on the way. Can't stand New York, Boston guy here. I'm not a big fan of the city. Lots and lots and lots of people. It was close to 70 here in southeast Alabama. I don't know what it was outside today. I'm not even going to lie to you. I didn't even step outside the door. What are you making? Um, Just granny squares because it's silly, stupid, simple. And, and I need to decompress because I've been running, 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 running. So I just need something that's mindless that I don't have to think about. Uh, I'm too poor to pay attention, to pay anything, let alone attention. Uh, don't use that as an excuse, Ricky. Um... Well, I owe my aunt a new microwave. I just burned popcorn in it, and it nearly started to fire. Oh, y'all. Funny story. It had been forever since I had had Chick-fil-A. This was like a year and a half ago. One of my coworkers went to Lubbock, Texas, and on her way back, she stopped and brought me a Chick-fil-A sandwich. And I was so excited that I just put that sucker in the microwave with the wrapper on and you know the inside of chick-fil-a's wrappers have metal on them i started a fire in the microwave at work and this is how hardcore of a lord's chicken fan i am i still ate the sandwich i wasn't giving up on it <laughs> Ugh. That's why I was AFK for so long. Stop causing fires, Freaky. Jeez. Um, everybody's talking about, well, not everybody. They're talking about Canada. I know nothing about Canada. John is making friends already. That's good. Have you tried the chicken sandwich from Popeyes? No, because I want to go to heaven. I'm not cheating on Jesus. No. <laughs> <sighs> Um, maple syrup and Mounties. I think of hockey, and I think of Niagara Falls, and I think of Brian Adams when I think of Canada, and Spinrite, who is the parent company of Yarnspirations and Red Heart and all of them. Oh my god, that sandwich is killer. I shan't do it. I shan't do it. I keep getting blamed every time someone burnt popcorn at work, even though I never burnt it, but it was the one who usually cooking popcorn, so they assumed it was me. Oh, <laughs> it's not cheating on Jesus to go to other restaurants. I feel like I would be cheating. I feel like I would be cheating. Tobin said I think of Kim Coates. So are you sad about the Patriots? Stephanie loves when I talk football. Um, am I sad about the Patriots? No. Oh, you were asking your new friend. Oh, okay. I'm not a Patriots fan at all. I'm not a Patriots fan. Lily said I burned the microwave. 
That's a situation, man. I've burnt water before. Was super tired, was boiling water for something. I forget what I was boiling water for. And um, fell asleep, woke up. Yep, the pan was still sitting there, no more water. The pan was not okay, it did not survive. Did you clutch your pearls, imaginary or real? <sighs> Patriots lost. Ha, ha, ha. See, now I wasn't going to go there because I am a decent friend, Sue. I feel like I'm the only one that, like, supports other people. You know, like, I, I don't agree with it. I, I, I don't like the Patriots at all, but if that's who you like, then that's who you like. I'm so supportive. I'm like, yay, your team won. Way to go. But if it's the Steelers, all of y'all... Every single last one of you are like, mm-hmm, <laughs> Steelers lost. It's so unkind. The world should be a happier place. People should be kinder to each other. So you technically made burnt the pan, not the water. Yes, I suppose, Kim. I suppose I did technically burn the pan. You should have seen S Steph clutching her pearls when she found out how much label gosh I about choked I about choked those things are expensive I don't think so that's a conversation that comes from because at going back to my patrons and all of them um they're little voyeurs and they like to watch me doing whatever it is that I'm doing. They watched me put labels, Good Loops labels, on our bags for New York City. And Kim was talking to me about um, I should get a, apparently there's label machines. And then she looked them up and she's like, oh wait. And I was like, oh my goodness, super expensive, super expensive. Um, we like to watch. Yes, you do. You guys like to watch. Somebody was asking me, really, they just sat there and watched you put labels on bags? I'm like, oh yeah, they love it. They love to watch me inventory the yarn. And then, you know, crazy things happen, like me finding a spider that paralyzes me so I can't even turn off the live so I can have a freak out in 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 private. Oh no. No no. <sighs> you know, I give it. I can take it. I'm just not mean like that. There are sometimes though it gets the best of me. He, no, our our labels are really big. It it's for our big bags. Um, when we go to trade shows so people can have something to put their yarn in. They're big old huge orange bags and we have labels printed up that are rather large as well with the Good Loops logo on them. So those have to be hand put on the bags. And last year, last July, it was Amy that did it all. And this year, well for this show, it's me. It will probably be me again for Dallas. <laughs> Not as much fun if you aren't reading chat, though. I know. I'm so sorry. Try having a chipmunk jump at you. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine that. I'm sorry, it would have slowed me down and I had a lot of bags to get through. I needed to focus on getting those bags done because I had to ship them to New York City and I, I absolutely had to get them done on that day because that was the only day that I had to do it. Ugh. No, they do not sing. The chipmunks? That's a disappointment. 
That's a big disappointment. It should all be in good fun. When it comes down to it, they are overpaid guys playing with a football. Military members should get athletes pay. I agree. I agree. My whole family's military. Everybody. I get it. I remember my first Christmas with my hubby's family and we all sat down to receive our gift and when I received mine I had an extra surprise with a spider sitting in the folds of the paper. Oh Lord! I'd have died. I'd have died. Mm -mm. Um, I have one of the new P-Touch machines that you print from your computer so you can do all of the fonts you have installed and it can connect to a database and print all of the entries rather than... T what? I want it! <gasps> All of the, the drawers behind me would not be so pretty anymore. They would be all mucked up with P-Touch. <laughs> I'd be labeling everything. Woo! I'd be like Jennifer was when we first got our barcode. We got a barcode um, label maker for the yarn that goes to trade shows. So it's easier to just zap it than it is to punch it in from our, our backside of the, the store. She went crazy with labels. She kept sending me pictures, sending me videos of the label machine going to work. It was hilarious. Okay. I really need to go, guys. I'm so sorry, but I really do need to go. I stayed 15 minutes longer than what I had planned to. But... You guys will see me here soon because um, who knows, maybe I will go live from the airports as I'm running through the airport. Who knows? I might. I might. We never know. We never know. We never know anything. Gosh, look at all them grannies. Look at all them grannies. But I will see you guys soon at some point um come on get in here make sure that you um i know that i said it earlier so for those of you guys that were here i'm sorry i don't want to sound like a broken record but bonnie bay from bonnie bay crochet bonnie barker is going to be with us at vogue knitting live so you're going to want to make sure that you are subscribed to Bonnie Bay Crochet because you may end up seeing me and Jen um, on her channel because I'm pretty sure she's going to go live at some point. Um, you are going to, of course, want to be subscribed here because I will be going live from um, the event here on this channel. I'll be going live in the Facebook group um, at some point too. Don't know what I will be doing. So the It's Crochet Clock Facebook group, you'll want to check out the Good Loops Facebook page. We will probably be going live there and you can probably, you'll, you'll start to see things um, tonight or early tomorrow popping up there because Jennifer is already on her way. She got on the plane at 11 o'clock my time, 11 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. So it takes her like 24 hours to actually get to where she's going, but she'll start posting pictures all over the place. So those are the places that you want to make sure um, that, that you are following or have liked to become a member of all of that good stuff. If you want to, if you cannot make it to Vogue Knitting Live, you can just watch us and you can hang out with us. And, um, I will see you guys. Gabby says, bye Steph, don't forget to post a picture of the secret squirrel to Patreon. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am going to go and do that right now so I don't forget about it because if I don't, then I definitely will forget about it. If you guys don't know what Patreon is, Patreon is a website where you can um, 
commit a certain dollar amount each month to artists and you end up getting perks. There's five different tier levels on my Patreon account. Each one has their own level of perks. Some of them are behind the scenes. Some of them are early access to videos and patterns. Some of them you end up getting cool things like this, which is exclusive only to patrons. It will never be in my merch store. The big, huge It's Crochet O'Clock bag back there is exclusive to patrons all kinds of great stuff. So that's where a lot of the secret squirrel stuff happens. They get to see all of the crazy that goes on in my head before it even reaches you guys. And I appreciate them greatly. Pledge support. That's it. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> She's so much more elegant than I am. My brain is not working very well. So anywho, you guys have a great two weeks. Don't forget, I will not be here next week. Um, because I will be recovering. I would have just gotten back home next Monday and I have to go to work the day after. So I will not be doing a live. I will be sleeping, but hopefully you guys will be sated enough with all of the lives that will be coming through this weekend. You guys be safe. I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.